Good day, good people, and welcome back to my channel. Now, today's video, I'm not going to hold you guys for that long, but there are definitely some things that I would like to get into. But before we get into all that, if you're not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscription button, hit that notification button and bell so you can be notified every time I'm dropping a video. Hit the like button, hit the share button, and as always, drop a comment in that comment section. Now, let's get to today's video. So like I said in today's video, I'm not going to hold you guys for that long, but there are definitely some things that I would like to get into when we are talking about this situation with Keith Leaf and Roland Ray. Okay, so Roland Ray yesterday posted up some pictures to let us know that, you know, May and in June, he was seriously hospitalized. But if you didn't read his full story, you would think that, you know, he is still, I don't know if he's... He's able to talk right now and to be doing things on his own. This brother was in the ICU in May and in June. So him just now telling us his story, even though he's been back on the Internet, I think that he is still doing some type of recovery and trying to get himself all together. While you are recovering, he did take to post up a few things that he wanted to talk about when it came to Keith Leaf. Now, he said that Keith Leaf is, you know, had came to his city, D.C., and he said that he personally reached out to Keith Leaf and gave him a list of restaurants to go to because, you know, you come into my city, I know some really good spots, and I think that these spots could also use your business. So that's what he said that he did. And he didn't like what Keith Leaf had to say. I'm going to let you guys listen to what Keith Leaf had to say a little bit, and then I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. There's a few things I want to talk about. So let's talk about it. I know we only posted about three spots from Washington, but we went to about 12, and we made a decision as a family and as a team, and also a personal decision to not post most of them. So out of those 12, I probably only got like one or two more that I'm going to post. And the reason for that, a lot of those videos, in my opinion, are constructive at all. And before the narrative start, I'm going to show a few clips of the places that we did go to. And again, I don't think they're constructive. So for privacy at a restaurant that we went to, I'm not going to say what restaurant it is. I'm going to show you a little bit of our personal experience. Just the whitening with the sweet potatoes and mac and cheese. Unfortunately, I won't be trying any of it. As always, I ain't trying to be rude. I'm just be honest. The smell of this insane this perforated the whole car immediately so much so that my family went back in and asked if they fried it in the same grease that they did the shellfish and come to find out they do and it smelled like it it smells like shellfish it smells like frozen fish it smells like fish it smells almost unedible in my opinion i don't want to smoke mm -mm. The entire customer service experience, in my opinion and in my family's opinion, was completely unprofessional. It said on the IG that they opened at 1 o'clock. The truck didn't open up until 2.15. It took about 45 minutes. When they went back to eat the food, they saw her preparing it. No gloves, no washing hands, grabbing money, grabbing strawberries, grabbing fruity pebbles, and putting it on top of our food. Mm. Oh. Don't chicken take the beer. Mm -mm. The reason there's no food in my hand is because a lot of the restaurants we've been recommended since we've been here look like this. And I'm not the target audience just based on the pictures. Put her hands! She requires her hands! She requires her hands! She requires her hands! And I didn't have a question. Do you guys have running water? I ain't got no point to lie. We just out here eating food, praying, staying with our families, minding our business. We also went to a lot of places that were recommended. That's one thing that I really want to make clear in this video, is that we went to places that were recommended, and we did a lot of research. We've been here for a week, and every day since we've been here, we've been in the Sprinter for at least 10 hours a day, just going around, trying food, driving an hour to each spot. And since we've been here, we've been blessed enough to sell $30,000 to various restaurants around the DMV. So I don't appreciate it, and I don't think it's fair that we get criticized for not doing research or not going to a lot of restaurants in D.C. or the DMV area. I've noticed how the media has been pushing since we've been here. A lot of media outlets picked up on the fact that I said restaurants out here, in my opinion, tend to lean towards promoting alcohol more than they promote food. That's the headlines more than us being in an actual city and being blessed enough to touch the people that we touch. There's a lot of people that was extremely nice. We even went to a comedy show randomly, but that's another reason why I'm keeping most of those videos to protect the restaurant owners because it's not going to be constructive and it's just going to be them getting tore down. And I don't want that. Past those two videos, I still got about six or seven, and I'm going to be releasing those. So as you guys clearly just heard what Keith Leaf had to say, and this is what I want to say about Roland Ray. What irritates my soul about Roland Ray is that Roland Ray thinks that he can just chime in and say whatever he want to say. This ain't the first person that he didn't got at. And a whole bunch of people are saying, well, maybe Roland Ray was saying this in defense of Taraji because, you know, Taraji's from blah, blah, blah. And maybe, you know, that's why Keith Lee said what he said. But this is what I want to say. Keith Lee goes to so many different when he decides, hey, I'm going to go to uh, the Bay Area. I'm going to go to Atlanta, wherever he decides that he goes. He's not just listening to one person, regardless how famous you think you are in that city or in the world or wherever in your head. It does not matter. He's not just going to listen to one person and be like, OK, well, this one person who lived here said I should go to X, Y and Z. 
he's going to ask a couple of different people. He's going to look up suggestions. I'm pretty sure that him and his team, they, they've been doing this for a minute now. It's not like they just picking places out of their butt or just picking trash places. They are really trying to find places that actually have really good food that maybe a lot of people don't know about and that actually need help with them dollar signs. And I will say this, even after Keith Lee and his family, like those pictures and stuff like that, the, the food that he showed, to be honest with you, I wouldn't, bro, I would be so upset that I even spent my money on some of them plates. They're just the presentation of alone. And then you telling me that there's people that are making your plates with no gloves on, they's touching money and then putting strawberries on top of my food? Hell no. Nah. Like, no, ma'am. <laughs> I don't want any of your food. They Not only did he go out there and he tried to do the reviews, he tried he spends a ridiculous amount of money on even purchasing this nasty food because he still purchased the food. I'm, and I'm not going to call their food nasty, but I'm just going to say a lot of those pictures look disgusting. Like, I'm not going to lie. Not every restaurant out there was like that. He went to a few places. But what I will say is even though he still spent the money and bought these different foods from these different places, didn't name any of the places, which was great. I thought that that's wonderful. He doesn't try to downplay people or try to make it seem like, oh, this is a horrible place. Don't come here. That's why a lot of times in, in plenty of his videos, he doesn't even name where the hell he's going or he'll just, you know, politely, I'm just not going to say where I went, but, you know, my experience was X, Y, and Z. He's allowed to do that, just like we're all allowed to do that. You guys are just, it's just a lot of people who are upset with him are not big enough to go do this or it's just like, you feel a certain type of way. There's so many people that so, I'm from so-and-so. How dare they? Like, what, is, what the hell is that state did for you? If they gave, like, put money in your pocket or something like that, gave you a house for free, gave you back to 40 acres in a meal, like, what has that state did for you? I don't understand why people be taking this stuff so personal unless it's your particular restaurant. This is a damn state we talking about. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, calm down. And then... On top of him spending all this money at all these different places and didn't even expose and, you know, make content off of these, these videos, he couldn't even make content off of that. That's another way he makes his money. He still gave away $30,000 to various restaurants and people who needed it out there in that place. So regardless if he came out there and said, you know what, I didn't have a good, let's say he came out there and said, I didn't have a good experience at all. He still came out there and spent his money where he didn't have to spend his, his, his hard-earned money with you guys. And he still gave away 30 bands. Why are we talking about Taraji P and trying to make it seem like it's Taraji and Roland Ray going around talking about, he, he at, I told him places to go. And honestly, you should be worried about getting yourself all the way healed. Because while you've been down, I'm pretty sure you've still been talking smack about people. This is one person who just irritates my, my, my butt, man. He talks about so many people. And it's not even that he talks about people. It's just how he comes at people. And he always inserts himself in business that has nothing to do with him. And then he figures everybody, you know, and what, what also irritates me with this situation is as much as I can't stand this person because of how he interacts or whatever, and I feel like maybe he acts that way because of the way that he is in that chair. He has so much love from so many people. Suki, when everybody found out that he was sick, there's so much people in the comment section that give him love all the time. So if you are an individual that is a rude person like him and you still get in love, even though I don't think that he should be getting as much that he is getting, no telling, if he could be a good, kind person to his people and maybe the Ray, the Roland Ray that we see on the internet is just an internet persona, but I'm just going to say it's just a nasty, a nasty bad taste. And I know a lot of people who don't like the Roland Rays, his, his celebrity friends has given him support and stuff. If you have outgoing support like that, bro, why not use it to be a better? If you were so fearful and saying that you're not going to see Mother's Day and stuff like that, and I'm not trying to use that against you. But if you really had a life awakening moment like that, really use that and come out and be better. You got this much love. You got influence. People know who you are, Roland. You don't got to get at people like this because they doing reviews. He still gave your city and your place, state and all that other kind of stuff, money. More than what the average person in your probably state is doing. He don't even live there. He went to go do that. Take that as a win. You ain't got to get at people all the time and make situations bigger than what they are. And honestly, if you can prove me wrong and come out and be a whole different type of rolling ray, 
I ain't got no problem with being like, this is who, this is what I'm talking about and giving you your flowers. Cause one thing I ain't gonna do, if, if I give people their props, I give people their flowers, but I just can't stand how he just comes out. He just so negative all the time. When honestly, I'm like, dude, look at the platform that you're on now. If you use that negativity to get to that platform, you know, get that big, then I understand some people do certain tactics to get big and stuff like that and to blow up and to go viral. But now that you're here, baby, you can do something totally different. You didn't have that life-changing experience in May or June. Get off of the internet and stop talking about people, bro. And don't forget, you're just one person. And you're just one person that's a, a little bit of an influence. We don't know all the people that Keith Leaf know. And all the people, it's millions of people and hundreds of thousands of people for sure who reach out to this brother all the time. Come here, come here, come here, come here. He even got his own celebrity people that's hitting him up. So I'm pretty sure if you guys did have that five minute conversation, like how you said, you're just one person. He's still gonna listen to hell other people too. And no telling, it was probably a gang of other people who name, I'm pretty sure he didn't just say, well, look, hey, so-and-so said, let's go here. So we just gonna go here. I'm pretty sure it was like a number, like it was a tally. I'm pretty sure it was like a group of people uh, keep, you know, keep popping up with the same name. Try this place, try this place, try this place. And he was like, you know what? People keep saying this place, let me try this place. So you can't take things so personal that, you know, he didn't go to not one place that you said. You were just all, and honestly, I think that if he would have went to any place that you would have said, honestly, you would have just been like, I told him to go there for my city. And you would have wanted some type of recognition, just like how you came out and told us that you talked to him. You wanted the world to know that you spoke to him for five minutes. Like, what the hell? Who cares? A lot of people talk to this brother for five minutes, so way more important to you, way more influence and everything. And I'm not saying that to downplay you as a human, but you just always try to make it seem like you're just so big and you're not. You're not. Thank God that you are okay. Thank God that you are recovering. But honestly, I really do hope that you prove me wrong and you make better of your situation and what you have to offer. Because honestly, you got more to offer than this negativity stuff that you're putting out here. Real talk. Y'all drop a comment in that comment section. Let me know what y'all think about all of this. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next video respectfully.